Hi, welcome to this class. In this class, we will discuss the Napoleon theorem. Napoleon theorem says that in a triangle ABC, we draw three equilateral triangle on the base of AB, BC, and CA. Let the three triangle are AB C2, BC A2, and CA B2, and their centroid are X, Y, Z then x y z is a equilateral triangle x y z also is a equilateral triangle this is in this figure a b c a c b 1 is a equilateral triangle a b c 1 also is a equilateral triangle and b c a 1 is also a equilateral triangle and x y z are the three centroid of three these three triangle. So we have to prove that X Y Z is a equilateral triangle. That means X Y equal to Y Z equal to Z X. You have to we have to prove this is. So first see that H D Z centroid. Let's draw C X. Let's draw CX and CY. CX and CY. And DZ and ZD. As these are centroid, this point are and draw BX also. So these are 30 degree. These all are 30 degree. These are 30 degree. These are 30 degree. This is also these are 30 degree. All angle those form are 30 degree. And BZ is BZ is AB by root 3. Bz is AB by root 3. Bx is Bx is Cb by Bx is Cb by root 3 and Cy is Ac by root 3. CY is AC by root 3. So, this is by making the year cos 30 degree. We found this easily. So, let's come to the point. Here, take a point Y1. Take a point Y1 such that CY summa CY1. And here, take a point X1 such that cx equal to cx1 now draw y1 and x1 now draw y1 and x1 then in the triangle x c y x c y and x1 c and y1 this is this is C plus 60 degree and this angle is also C plus 60 degree so y1 by x1 is equal to x and y or x1 y1 is equal to x and y x1 y1 is equal to x y now look that cx1 by ca1 is equal to 1 by root 3 and cy1 by c a is also 1 by root 3 that means xy is parallel to a a1 xy is parallel to a 
a1 and xy is equal to x1 y1 is equal to ac a a1 by a a1 by root 3 x1 by y1 is equal to a1 by root 3 equal to x plus y. Now come to the right side. Here take a point z2 such that bz2 is equal to bz. And here also take a point x2 x2 such that bx2 is equal to bx. Now again join z2 and x2 x2 and z2. By the same process x2 by z2 would be equal to x2 by z2 would be equal to x and z x and z and this is also would be a a1 by root 3 this is also would be a a1 by root 3 this is also a a1 by root 3 so xy is equal to xz by the same process we apply in other side we can found that xz is equal to x xz is equal to yz by the same process we would be equal to xz is equal to yz so this is the proof xy equal to xz equal to yz that means x x y z is equal to triangle